like this. Um, I've had him since he was three months old. He's been, he was imported in from Siberia. Um, I wanted a real husky. Some people mistake him for a white German Shepherd because he's quite big. Uh, and for a husky, he's nice and big. Uh, Malachi is close to 40 kilos. A couple of clients' dogs at the back there barking. They want to get fed, but obviously they don't go through the same rituals that these guys do because they're boarding here and people have their own way of feeding their dogs, so we don't change that for them. And they're getting all excited and running around and barking at us, asking for the food. All right. Oh, we mute it because I whistle um, when the dogs start barking, uh, and it's an extremely loud whistle. Um, if I would do that now and anybody had headset like headphones in, yeah, um, we'll cop a million abuses for sure. Because it, <laughs> it's ear piercing, but it's the only thing that really stops the dogs from barking because it's a really high pitch, uh, and the dog can hear at forty thousand cycles. So to that, to them, that whistle is extremely loud. Hello, my little brother. So, yeah, I was saying, he's a very special dog. He's my go-to man when I need help with the rehabilitation or when I need him to be around big, aggressive dogs. Um, he's just got a really calm way of doing these things. He's not aggressive. Um, none of the dogs are aggressive, but he just has a special something-something that you can't train. Stop, Gotham. Stop your keg. So Gotham, he was given to us as a puppy, as a favour of doing some work with Gotham's brother, who is an Australian champion. They're all show dogs. Um, you can see the keg look at the size of his shoulders. And, uh, yeah, he's beautiful. Zeus up there, everyone's favourite. He's, uh, he's a goofball, like literally lights on, nobody home type of dog. Uh, but he will protect this place, if anything, if we needed to. So, yeah. He's a really good dog. I'm not sure what he's doing right now. He's, I think he's slapping out to eat. Hey, you two. No playing before dinner, mate. What do you think this is? They didn't understand the word I just said to them. It was just the hand moving that got them and made them understand what I was just saying. If I didn't move my hand, they wouldn't have known a single thing. So it's a lot of hand signals that I usually use with the dogs. Uh, I try not to speak to them as much as I possibly can and just use hand signals and very makes life easier so we're going to just go ahead now guys with feeding them so now a lot of them are sort of starting to relax a good sign that the dog is relaxed is the, their paws um, they sort of tuck the paws in a little bit yeah I like the bam bam over there falling asleep you can see a little turtle there so he's got those shakes that's because he really wants to get the food and he's dealing with it. So that's good. We'll let him deal with that on his own term. At the moment, the food ball starts moving. He's going to stop doing all of that. Out to you. It's all right, mate. Okay, so I think these guys are ready to eat. So I usually, and I've done this because it's just the way that I like to do it, but I will call their name out and they will eat. If I don't call their name, they don't usually move and it just keeps everybody nice and relaxed. You can see now they're all looking at me, waiting for them to get their name called out. Uh, Malachi, not that he understands it, another language or anything, but since a pup, I always uh, spoke to him in English and Italian, different languages, and you can say the same thing in different languages and he understands exactly what it is because he's just used to it. Um, and he's also his nickname is Kaka. Uh, Kaka means uh, little shit in Italian because uh, that's what he was when he was a pup. Um, he chewed my house, skirting boards, everything, DVDs. When he was a pup, I left him home one day. I had to do, I finished my uni course and I couldn't take him with me. And yeah, he showed me why I shouldn't ever leave him at home. Didn't you? Kaka.
Little turtle. Bam Bam. Okay, Bam Bam. Sit down, Anouk. I can see you, mate. Um, Ako. Keg. Or Gotham. Cody. Okay, Cody. Um, balloon. Ooh. Uh, so these dogs are trying to sabotage us. They're underneath Baloo there, there's a massive hole. I don't know who dug it. A nook. I'm an old lady. Hades. Um, I'm just going to leave this behind because I can't get to Zeus and Alta here up there. Sit. Sit. Little turtle, sit. Oh, yeah, and I nearly forgot Alcasai. Anook, sit down. See Aragon now? Yeah. Perfect spot. Hmm? Perfect spot. So you guys can see Aragon now behind me here. Uh, beautiful boy, I'm going to feed Aragon. Um, Okay, Aragon. Okay, Aragon. Um, so what we're feeding is a mixture of chicken mince, heart, liver, lungs, uh, tendons, just raw food. Uh, little turtle. 
Come on, leave him alone, mate. Uh, raw diet, we have all our dogs on a raw diet. Last night, if, I don't know if you guys saw us feed them, but we just gave them a mixture of uh, chicken mince, just chicken mince last night, and um, uh, omega-3 and omega-6 oils, um, liver mole, vitamin C, and we do keep up their vitamins and things like that as well. Because we don't feed these guys kibble at all. Uh, we just get it straight from the abattoir. Uh, we go through, like I was saying before, 700 kilos of food every two weeks. Uh, if we had to go to a butcher, it would cost a lot more than what it already does. Hey guys. Hey guys. So who wants to play a game? Anouk, can you leave him alone, mate? So you're going to sit? Who's going to sit for me? Here we go, this will grab their attention. Another phrase, monkey do what monkey see, and still see one. Here we go. See, now we've got their attention. Okay, Malachi. Leave it. Everybody else, leave it. Okay, you, Alta, you need to sit down, mate. Not time to climb buildings. Little turtle. Uh, Alta, I said, Alta. Hey. Alta, sit. Altier is very young as well. He's about 10 months old now. This is a very young pack, except for Anouk, the German Shepherd over there, who's nine years old. Sit down, Baloo. Come on, Zeus. Not throwing it out that way, buddy. No, well, you're sending yourself to bed. Don't move. Bam, bam. Coda, come and sit over here for me. No, Malachi, sit down. Is your name Coda? You don't look like a girl to me. It's a boy's name, isn't it? Sorry, man. Come here, Cody. Sit. Leave it. Coda. Good catch, mate. Sit. Sit down, fairy floss. Anouk. Those big German shepherd teeth. Sit down, Anouk. Alkasai. Baloo, leave it. Too late. Yeah, the pups still don't have... That concept of catching food when, if, when they're sort of throwing it up at them, so usually they hit them in the head or it just goes behind them. But the bigger dog, Baloo, sit down. Baloo, hey Baloo, Earth to Baloo, sit. Good boy, leave it. Baloo, bam bam. What did I just say? Leave it, bam bam, leave it. So, again, this is not something that I would do with your dogs at home unless they know or you've spent the time in training them because this could go horribly wrong one of the dogs tries to take the food off the other dog uh, especially raw food like this oh thank you very much um yes thank you very much yeah and we will be gaming on mondays uh not that good at it but uh I do play a couple of games, Assassin's Creed and FIFA. Um, you guys can tune in and watch me beat Elliot at FIFA. <laughs> hey. right, so, Anuk. I mean, uh, I don't know. Ako. so weird, you just got all these eyes staring at you and it's just really intense and you look up, there's so many eyes looking at you and you're like, oh. Malachi. Not sure if you guys can see baby Gotham, but he's just waiting, he's such a good boy. And to anyone who's following and who's enjoying this, please say thank you to um, for, for, for allowing us to stream this, even though that it's uh, non-gaming related. So yeah, please, guys. The power of dogs. Baloo. You're not going to miss, are you, mate? That was difficult for me to see whether he actually caught that or not. Uh -uh, Alkasai. Sit. Um, Alkasai was a Native American warrior. Uh, so it was a little turtle. 
Sit, bam, bam. Um, <laughs> bam, bam, how he got his name, I'm not sure that you guys <laughs> uh, want to know, but I'll tell you anyway. Yeah, um, Bam, bam used to hump everything. Um, I mean, everything. Rocks, shoes, uh, that log over there, he would have by now, anything. So, um, yeah, and because it was such a quick little hump, we, yeah, we just called him Bam Bam, because that's what exactly what he would do, just run around, bam, bam, off to the next thing, bam, bam, off to the next one. And that's how we ended up with Bam Bam. So if you're wondering why I'm not throwing any food to Alti and Little Turtle, that's a disaster. That's a recipe for disaster there. They're both very young, they're extremely close to each other, and they're not going to listen. Um very well so if it was one of the bigger dogs close to them i would do it but because they're the two young pups next to each other um they might get into a bit of trouble okay coda bam bam anook you need to sit stop zeus you gonna come over everyone's here for you mate come on we'll call you nigel mate nigel no friends what are you doing over there come on zeus Balu. Ako. Little turtle. I mean, sorry, mate. Alkasai. Sit. Sit down. Um, Hades. Aragon. Want one? Yep, that one right over his head. Anuk. <laughs> I can tell she loves her food. The old girl barely moves around. As soon as you bring some food out, she's all about it. Okay, Malachi. Cody. Oh. Shikabam. Alcohol. Leave her coat up. Alkasai. Just leave her alone, mate. Hey, they're lucky that these older dogs have a lot of patience with them. Baloo. Is that even a bark? I'm not sure. Baby Gotham. That thing. Watch my fingers, Baba. Alright, well, this is pretty much the ending of the feeding for today. Here we go, Baba. Oh, good girl. Good girl, you're a princess. That's it, guys. If I'm not mistaken, Bam Bam, you got meat on your shoulders, mate. That's it, guys. It's all over. You can move out. Off you go. Move here. Come here, guys. No, no, no. That mean go and take it out of there. Go and find it somewhere else. It doesn't matter how long you stay, guys. It's over. It's it. It's finished. Okay. Off you go. Come on, monkeys.